Las Vegas, Nevada, Nevada, however the hell you want to say the shit, at the Venetian for a sold out show on my win that thing, get to thangin' comedy tour. Can't get tickets. Y'all see this sign? It say sold out. Yeah, it's sold out. You can't get no tickets, baby. It's gone. It's sold out. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the presidential suite. This is nice. Where the look? where are my little lights? Uh, how how I'm supposed to do my makeup in the door? <laughs> what have I been doing since I got here? I've been in the bed. Sleep, because I've been sick. I woke up with a damn sinus infection. And I can y'all hear the ambulance? Oh Lord, somebody's probably done got murdered out here or they done had a heat stroke one. That's been it, that's been it. You know, I'm really excited to be here, but it has not been fun so far because I've been sick and in the bed. But I got me an IV today, so I'm gonna be ready to go and we're gonna shake our titties. I ain't even posted it on social media because I don't want people to know. I don't yeah. want to ruin nobody's experience. Right. I don't want them feeling bad for me. Like, right. oh, he doesn't feel good. No, bitch, enjoy your show. Because I'm gonna put it on, even if I don't feel good. Baby, let me show y'all my presidential suite. I ain't even got no spanks on, so I know I'm gonna look fat in this video. You know, that's a good thing that I got you as my manager, so when I drop my album, you already in the music industry. That's gonna be my next thing. Hell. Somebody been shooting a damn refrigerator? What time do you want to come back down here? You want to be down here at 8.30? Or you want to be down here at 8 to give you a little bit more time? Ooh. <laughs> it's, that, it's that juice. What? I could fuck on that table. That, look at how big that table is. I mean, that's a big table though. What does it feel like to be here? Hot. That's what it feels like. Hot as hell. Whatever the Lord is cooking, it is done. It is hot as hell in the damn desert. That's what I feel like. But I also just feel very grateful. Um, you know, people are flying from all over to come see me tonight, and it's a sold out show. The, the security already told me this is the first sold out show they've had here in a long time, so that makes me feel some type of way. Um, it's just a, it's a good feeling. It's a very grateful feeling, because if it weren't for these people that supported me, none of this would be possible. Okay, I want to go check out merch, see how that's going. Here's Were y'all shocked by how much merch we had? No. We usually have way more. This is nothing. Hey, cutie. Okay. That says sold out. Y'all see that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Liddy titty. Do y'all know what liddy titty means? No. No? Okay. Do the you fool? know what liddy titty means? Yes. It means you are litty titty. Means lit. Your titties are lit. Your money, your yeah, give me my money. Hey, yo, I'm trying. Yes. One, two, three, four. I'm rich, beach. Look, Tim's cold hearted ass is out here crying. <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge accomplishment. The same kid that Connor right slammed his hand pastor? in the door and Connor said shit that hurt Matt said. That doesn't represent you well. You really shouldn't use words like that. I remember, oh my gosh, I remember <laughs> in high school when you went through that phase where you were like, oh, don't say words like that. Oh. I'm saying shit on myself. If I could tell younger Matt, the little gay kid in the projects, drinking sugar water and eating mayonnaise sandwiches, that he was going to be playing sold out shows in Vegas. I would tell him that we're gonna make it. We are gonna make it and all the struggles and all of the hard things and, and the battles and you know, all of the trauma that was a part of what got us here today is all gonna be worth it. And so I started this career as a boudoir photographer and it brought me so much joy to show men and women just how amazing they were. And um, I realized that in this life, I had two things in this life 
that really brought me a lot of joy, and that was making people feel good about themselves and making people laugh. And then I stumbled on comedy. Now I don't know how the fuck that happened, because never in my life did I want to be a comedian. But somehow it happened. And now I'm on a world tour, selling out shows like Vegas because of every single person in this room that took a chance on me and believed in my message and laughed with me and shared my videos and bought tickets to my show. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. So I'm so, so thankful. I just want to say that I'm just so grateful because for somebody that has not been doing stand-up comedy for very long or been in the entertainment world for very long and to have the platform that I have and to have show sold out like I have is just an incredible feeling and I'm just so grateful for the people that have given me the opportunity to do this and that have taken a chance on me because there are, there are stars out there that have not gotten the opportunities that I've had and it's all because of, of people you know it's all because of you can have the best agents and you can be a star in a movie and get cast for the biggest roles but if you don't have a connection with your audience and people don't love you and you don't love them and respect them, then you never grow and get anywhere. And so I really feel like I am like best friends with my fans. Like I try to talk to them on the internet and like I try to create relationships with them because they are so important to me and without them, none of this would be possible. So I just want to say thank you. If you came to this show, if you've come to a show, if you're, if you've bought tickets to a show in the future, the thing's thing, baby. Bitch, where you going? What? What that, what that got to do with anything? <laughs> Bitch, hurry up. <laughs> with your slow ass. What the fuck? <laughs> Lil Wayne. When that white bitch come back in here, trip her ass. <laughs> you decide to join us? I didn't say I was mad at you. I just said he should have tripped your ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bitch, what you think I got? You think I'm just up here with a catheter in here? <laughs> if I can make it the whole show, you can too. <laughs> Shit, bitch, I got a whole two liter IV today and I really got a piss, okay? <laughs> here I am up here holding it. Damn, squeeze your urethra together, bitch. It ain't that hard. <laughs> Any online daters in here? <laughs> Who? Who? I don't hear nothing about Val. <laughs> you two? We are a couple from Bumble. From Bumble? We're not two years. Two years? <laughs> bitch, that ain't nothing. <laughs> How did y'all, so you met on Bumble. Who messaged who first? Girls message guys first. Okay, so you messaged your, your man and said what? Give me some dick. I'm super sexy, so I didn't have to ask. You're super sexy? Anybody over here online daters? Why does my butt hurt in the morning after every time I drink tequila? Because you are blacking out and getting fucked. That's why. My God. I did anal. Bitch, that's not a big secret. That's not a surprise. I do that every night. You ain't special. With my now ex-husband in exchange for him to get me my dream car. That's called prostitution. You a hoe. <laughs> my God. God almighty! What is wrong with you bitches out here? Y'all don't use your vaginas? I did anal. 
with my boyfriend in a bulldozer and I thought I shit on his dick. It's because you was getting bulldozed, ho. The fuck? God. Las Vegas, you guys have been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you to thank him. <laughs>